Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at eight great tips for Adobe Photoshop. Let's dive right in. Number one, moving content independently from its mask. The only thing you need to do to move content independently from its mask is move down to the layers palette and click the link that separates the image and its mask. This way you can click and drag to move the content behind the mask without affecting the position of the mask itself. Number two, duplicating your latest filter. Every time you create a filter using the filters menu, it saves the last settings of the filter you created and creates a shortcut of control F, meaning the only thing you need to do is hit control F on your new piece of content and it'll duplicate your last used filter. Number three, multiple undo states. By default in Photoshop, the shortcut Control Z only undoes the last action you've done and hitting it more than that it toggles between removing and re-adding that last action. If you want to move back several steps between your history, then the shortcut you need for that is Control Alt Z, which undoes multiple steps. Number four, working with clipping masks. Clipping masks in Photoshop are very powerful, but very underused. The only thing you need to do is place the image that you want to clip on top, right click and choose create clipping mask and this will automatically and quickly clip the image underneath. Number five, duplicating content between artboards. If you have a version of Photoshop that uses artboards, which is the CC Creative Cloud version, then you can duplicate the position and properties of any content by just duplicating the layer using Ctrl J and dragging them to the new artboard. And this will replicate exactly the position, the size, the scale of any parameters that you've currently set for the content, meaning duplicating them across artboards is really, really easy. Number six, merging all visible layers to a new layer. Sometimes you want to duplicate and merge all of your layers onto a new layer and retain what you've already created. And there's a great shortcut for this, Control Shift Alt E. Simply hide any layers you don't want to be merged and all the visible ones will be put into one single layer. Perfect. Number seven, quickly adjusting layer opacity. Possibly the quickest way to adjust the opacity of an entire layer inside Photoshop is to use the numbers shortcut on your keyboard. If you have a layer selected, simply hit any number between one and zero, and this will change the opacity of the layer in increments of 10. For example, if you hit three, it will create a 30% opacity layer. If you hit seven, it'll be 70. If you quickly hit two numbers in succession, such as eight and five, it'll create 85% opacity. And finally, number eight, exporting artboards to separate files. Photoshop CC has a great feature where you can export your artboards to separate files. Simply head to File, Export, Artboards to Files and choose your parameters, where you want to save them, if you want a prefix on any of the named files and what type of file you want to save them as. Then simply name it, hit OK and Photoshop will run the process that separates your artboards to separate files and you can find them on your desktop. That's everything for this time around, but thanks very much for watching and I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.